very good afternoon. Uh, today here are the display in the context of the models uh, that have been prepared on the part of GIS students. Students of GIS University. Uh, specifically these are models relating to the Department of Juridical Sciences. Uh, there are a number of law students along with me. Uh, it, it includes uh, Sriyoshi Bakshi, uh, Gargi Mukherjee, Tejoshi Sen. Uh, Sati and uh, Moitri, all of them uh, uh, are studying both BBLA honors courses and uh, LLB courses. The interesting part is through this particular demonstration, they are trying to show the existing legislation. And in case the legislation is being ultimately infringed, what is the course of action for you know going to the uh, going to the court and taking the recourse of you know uh, law in hand? Just now, Gandhi is going to explain uh, what are the models are talking about. Be louder. Sir. So this is our first model. This is based on the Indian Penal Code. So as we all know, the Indian Penal Code, that is IPC 1860, it mainly contains all the penal provisions that are relating to the statutory laws present in India. There are various kind of sections like uh, to, uh, to 99, 399, that is calculable homicide related to murder or to be even culpable not amounting to murder. So let's come to the basic structure. What happens? Uh, when someone commits the crime, uh, so first of all the police, they arrest, they conduct a preliminary investigation, they arrest that particular person and within 24 hours he is presented to the magistrate. In case if uh, the police fails to present that particular person within 24 hours uh, to the magistrate of the original jurisdiction, he has to be taken before the closest, uh, another closest magistrate of In fact, through the model she is trying to explain, here is the magistrate who sits over there with this camera and here are the public prosecutor and the defense counsel, they are supposed to establish the fact that uh, whether the entire proceeding should go on in the court and while the proceeding goes on, whether the person should be released from bail or whether they should go to police custody or judicial custody. Here is a demonstration of the prison.